This is a short video on manipulating fractions and I'll apologize to you if this seems a little bit too basic but it's something that we probably all ought to think about before we do too much in the way of manipulating numbers in a scientific situation. Let's look at this fraction. 5 divided by 1 and think about what it means. What this means is how many 1's are in 5. When you think about it that way, you see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 1's in 5. 5 is equal to 5 times 1, 5 1's. There are 5 1's in 5. Therefore, 5 divided by 1 is equal to 5. You may have seen this so many times that you didn't really think about what it means. Let's look at another. 6 divided by 3. How many 3's are in the number 6? Well, 6 is equal to 3 plus 3, or 3 times 2. Therefore, there are two 3's in 6. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. How many 4's are in 4? Well, 4 is equal to 4 plus really nothing, or 4 times 1. Therefore, 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. It leads us to ask, how many blimps are in a blimp? And the answer is clear. How many puppies are in a puppy? That answer is pretty clear, too. How many anythings are in one anything? And the answer is, anything divided by itself is 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1. A blimp divided by a blimp is 1. And a centimeter divided by a centimeter is 1. A dimensional unit is a thing, and it can be divided by itself, and if it is, you get 1. Anything divided by itself is 1. And that's 1 point a million zeros, as many significant digits as you need. This is a pure number. So if we look at this problem, 7 divided by 3 times 2 divided by 7, we know from mathematics that it's the same as 2 divided by 3 times 7 divided by 7. And 7 over 7 is 1, so the answer is 2 divided by 3, 2 thirds. We learned in algebra that we could save time and just cancel out the like terms in the numerator and denominator since anything divided by itself is 1. It doesn't matter where it shows up as long as one's the numerator and the other's in the denominator. And so the answer is 2 thirds. Uh, another problem is here, and we have the same kind of situation. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and so the answer is 3 fifths. Now how about 1 fourth times 8 tenth times grams divided by cubic centimeters? Well, we have 8 over 4 is 2, and so the answer is 2 divided by 10 times grams divided by cubic centimeters, or 1 fifth times grams divided by cubic centimeters, or 0 0.20 grams per cubic centimeters. So, let's convert this without a calculator. Remember, this is asking how many 2's are in 1. Well, the answer is 0.5 because 2.5's are equal to 1. 0.5 is half of 1. 2 divided by 5, the answer is 0.4 because 5 times 0.4 is equal to 2. There are 5.4's in 2. 1 divided by 3, the answer is 0.33 because 3 times 0.33 is equal to 1. This is like that uh, company that sells three bags for $10 and it really comes out to $9.99. So there are 3.33's in 1. 8 divided by 10, the answer is 0.8. In the decimal system, if you divide by 10, that's the same as multiplying by 0.1, so we simply move the decimal point after the 8 over to the left, 
we make this smaller and we make the point one larger. And so the point is, remember, anything divided by itself is one. And always remember what the meaning of division is.